you want to do anything worthwhile in life, you've got to be hungry. People getting ready to go to jobs that they don't like. Jobs that are making them sick. What is it that you could love doing seven days a week that'll bring a smile to your face? People don't do what they know in life, but what they do is they operate within the context of the vision they have of themselves. Think about something that's important to you, something that gives your life a sense of value. Think about something that you'd like to have, or something you'd like to create for you or your family or for society. I want you to hold this thought in mind. Now, one of the first things I want you to do is don't worry about the inner conversation that you're going to have. Don't worry about how you're going to do it. That's going to come. You're going to develop a plan of action. You will find the way. You'll become the kind of person that can attract the people, the resources, and everything you need in order to make that become reality. But I want you to be mindful of your inner conversation. That inner conversation, ladies and gentlemen, is the reason that most people take their greatness, take their ideas to the graveyard with them. The wealthiest place on the planet is not the gold mines in the various areas of the world or the diamond mines. The wealthiest place on the planet is the graveyard. Because in the graveyard, we will find inventions that we never, ever were exposed to. Ideas, dreams that never became reality. Hopes and aspirations that were never acted upon. Because most people allow that inner conversation, for whatever reason, to keep them from ever pursuing their goals. So let us begin to look at what's required in order to, to make this our decade. Why is it that most people don't ever reach their goals or live up to their true potential? One is fear. And there are only two kinds of fears that we are born with. The fear of falling and the fear of a loud sound. All other fears we learn, like the fear of failure. The next is the fear of success. That's one of the major challenges I had to deal with. I was working on a major project and after it began to grow and it was extremely successful, I panicked and I walked away from it and gave it to someone else because I didn't believe that I could handle it. The other thing that keeps most people from reaching their goals is that a lot of people become comfortable. They stop growing, they stop wanting anything, they, they become satisfied. The other thing that keeps us from reaching our goal is not feeling worthy. That's where a lot of people get stuck. Because see, when you don't feel worthy of your goal, you will begin to unconsciously engage in self-destructive behavior. like procrastinating, constantly putting things off, squandering your time, and that's what life is made of. Something else that keeps us from reaching our goal, and that is many times because we spend so much time complaining and blaming everybody. When you take a breath, that is your alarm clock. You need energy? Breathe a little bit more. And then go to work.
You need to level up and you need to go up. You need to stop being complacent. You need to stop making excuses. You need to stop thinking that you don't have what it takes when you know deep inside you can go that far if you truly believe in yourself. Do you realize how many times you've said over and over again that you'll do it tomorrow, you'll wait till the next day, you got time, you don't have time. You want to be the best? Do you know what it means to be the best? Then you have to continue work on your craft. You have to constantly work on your craft. You can't just stay complacent. You can't be comfortable. You got to get uncomfortable. You got to go after it. Going after it every single day of your life is so important right now. Setting yourself back because you're afraid, because you don't understand. There's a lot of things that none of us understand, but that doesn't mean you stop. Sometimes you got to learn as you go. You got to make the sacrifices every single day of your life. Stop depending on other people. Stop depending on your excuses. Stop setting yourself back instead of setting yourself up and leveling up and get to where you got to go in your life. This is the time, ladies and gentlemen, to stand strong and believe in yourself each and every day of your life. We only have so much time and every day is a beautiful day. Whether you struggle with it, whether it's a sunny day, whether it's a rainy day, but you're still alive and you got work to do. So don't waste your time making excuses. Don't waste your time being afraid. Don't waste your time being stuck in a rut. Get outside that bubble and start becoming a reality. Start becoming more than what you think you are. In fact, stop thinking about it and start being about it. And live your life. Level up. Live. Breathe. Work. Be productive. And from the bottom of my heart, conduct your business. Do you understand what it means just to be alive and to make every day count? To make every opportunity that you have been given count. Life is short. And as I always tell you, you don't have much time. So that means you got to make every possibility, every breath that you take count. You got to just keep living your life. There are going to be times that you're going to just struggle and you're going to be tired and you're going to be weary and you're going to want to quit and you ain't going to have nothing left. But you still got to carry on. Live your life, ladies and gentlemen. Be excited about life. Regardless of the struggles, regardless of the circumstances, get excited about being above ground and not under it. Walk with your head up high and live your life and trust in everything that you do. If you're concerning yourself about mistakes, if you're concerning yourself about the past, leave the past alone. It ain't got nothing to do with you anymore.